Today, I'm gonna to show you my top 12 AI tools that I use every single day to create high quality content for YouTube and how you can use them right now to save you hundreds of hours and fast track your growth on YouTube in any industry that you want. Starting off with Adobe Podcast, I use this almost daily. Sometimes I can forget my microphone or my settings on the micro bad or there's too much of an echo and sometimes audio can be unusable or maybe the quality of the audio just isn't where you want it to be and I use this to fix all of that. There are some limitations. It's not completely insane, but the results, I mean, check this out. So this is what it sounds like when I'm recording from the microphone coming out of my phone camera. And then this is what it sounds like when it's it uploaded into the Adobe podcast. And now it sounds a lot better, hopefully. So I don't use any of the paid versions, but you can pay to adjust how the effectiveness works on this. You can lessen it, you can increase it. So if you've been thinking about buying a super expensive microphone to get that crisp sound, try this out before you go and do that. I definitely recommend getting a microphone, but you may, maybe you don't need it just yet. Now the next one on the list is actually a bundle, but I'm gonna start off with Video AI. This will take the long form content that you have and repurpose it clip it up, cut it up into short, viral, vertical uh, videos that you can use on either Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube. Now, a lot of people that watch short form content don't always go and watch your long form content. So this is a great way to expand on both of these. Now, here's my dashboard inside Video AI. And what I typically do without any trouble is I actually go to YouTube and I'm a huge BJJ fan or Jiu-Jitsu fan. So I'm always working on videos like this. I'll go copy the link and I'll just paste it right in here. Um, once you do that, just click on start import and you're good to go. And there we go. That only took about eight minutes. So uh, click on review clips for video AI and this is what it will give you. So notice this setup here, it'll be different than Opus here in a second when we go back to it. And so as you're going through these, most of them will be in completely different templates and you can change all the templates easily. So all you have to do is click on uh, edit and download. Now it's not perfect because sometimes you do have to resize it, um, and, but it does a really good job at finding the clips that it thinks will perform well. It finds the main ideas, the, the complete thought processes. But for me, sometimes there's a little bit of a lag. And so here's actually how I use it. I go to landscape most of the time and I click on 16 by nine, and then I go to my own templates. I hit my template and I just make it a blank one. I download this clip. I make sure that I want the length uh, where the meat of the content is and then put it straight into CapCut and then edit it from there. But it still saves me hours and hours from having to look at all the content and then download it and then cut them up individually. This at least gives me all the shorts ready to go. All I have to do is just resize them. So we're gonna go over to Opus.pro, which is a competitor. And I really like this and let me show you why. I do this for a business, I do this for a living, I create content for small businesses and I just help them on their YouTube channel. So I'm also trying to get new clients and this is a way that I will showcase my work, showcase how we do things and how we can repurpose our content, right? And this is a church that I reached out to. And what I like is that you can get the clips, right? And if you don't want to use your entire video because their beginning of that video is singing and stuff that I really can't repurpose and make content, it would just kind of be a waste. I can actually trim this down, which video AI cannot do that. So now I'm gonna pick a time range. I'm gonna do about 20 minutes of this. And you can also pick the length. So if you're on TikTok, then your videos can go over 60 seconds. But if you're only on YouTube Shorts, then 60 seconds is the max. So I would probably just do this. And then I'm gonna go click with, um, get clips with one click. Optin Monster reported that 72% of customers said they would rather watch short content to learn about a new product or service. And 84% of people said they've been convinced to buy a product from watching these kind of videos. So short from content is absolutely booming. Now other tools besides video AI and Opus are Git Munch and Clap. Also Sub Magic, which is extremely popular. There are links down below, which also brings me to mention, guys, if you do click on a link down below, it is an affiliate link and it helps me make more of this content. So if you use that, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So if you're creating content already, you can use this to speed up the process to create multiple shorts and leverage your work that you've already made. And there we go. It did take about uh, 15 minutes to do. So it will give you all of them from what it thinks will do best all the way to what it thinks will do worst. So we got 12 of these and sometimes they do overlap. But what I love about this is that when you click on edit, it also adds in little emojis, which is pretty cool. Submagic also does that, but that's pretty intuitive. And you can cut out the text just by looking at it, just by highlighting it and just hitting delete. 
there's a lot less editing you have to do with this software. There is auto B-rolls, which is in beta, and this is the B-roll. I was listening to a podcast a couple months ago, and most of you probably haven't heard of him. His name is Seth Godin. He's not a believer at all. But there was something so intriguing about this man that I really liked. He has the largest podcast in the world, or he did have. Now, it's not perfect, but this clip was found by AI, and then the AI also puts on B-roll. When will it stop? I don't know, I love it. Uh, the next tool is an audio extender for music. I'm using Wondershare Filmora, and sometimes what happens is the song you want is just not long enough, and it would be the perfect length if it was like five seconds, 10 seconds, or even just a minute longer. So I'm gonna use this button here, and this is the full length of the song. I can't do anything else with it. It does not go any further. And so what I need to do is click on this button here and then I could just click on this. I can extend it as much as I want really. And then it is gonna stretch the audio. And you see that I have my footage that I want with the proper length. If you're working with cinematic type videos, this might be great, especially if it's something very ambient, very atmospheric, like a drone in the background, you just need to extend it. I think that would be absolutely great. The next one, while we're on the topic of music is gonna be sound draw. To be able to captivate your audience, you need the correct music choice depending on your genre, depending on the kind of video. And sand draw, you can create music um, just by using this AI. And so you just tell it what kind of music you want for your video, and it'll create brand new music like this. Tweak things up. There you go. And I will probably use this for my video. You can even try and mix things up. For example, you want funk and techno dance. Let's see what that sounds like. The next tool we're gonna to talk about is CapCut. Now, starting off with the relight, check out this clip here. It's pretty dark, pretty dull. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna click on the video that I want, scroll down, and check the box relight. Now you can change the direction of this light, but this basically allows you to put lights in that weren't there. And so I use orange and teal often for my video work. And check out, I mean, look at my arm real quick, and you can see the shadows being created. Um, <laughs> just by putting this light in, right? Let's compare the old to the new. This is the old, and then this is the new. Just looks a lot brighter. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. Now, in case that wasn't enough, we do have the stabilize in case the camera guy is a little shaky. It'll zoom in a little bit and then stabilize the footage. And then you can also click on the image enhancement, which just enhances the image of your video. Then last but not least, we also have the filler word remover. This will automatically detect any pauses in the clip. And if they're imperfect, you can just move this all together wherever you want it. And even if you keep going even further, it'll still recognize what words you are deleting as it goes on. Then when you're good to go, just click delete and it'll delete all of these clips for you instead of having to manually go in and just start chopping away like crazy and listening to yourself over and over again. I mess up videos all the time. Now I'm sitting here editing the video and CapCut has made some pretty big updates, but it reminded me to show you vocalremover.org. Now I use this one a lot to avoid copyright strikes and to just clean up my audio. I'm working on this Mr. Beast compilation and I just chopped up a bunch of podcasts. Now a lot of these audios actually had some um, music in the background, music that I don't have a license to and I don't know if it's copyrighted. When you plug it into vocal remover, it separates it from the vocals and the music and it can save you a lot of copyright strikes or any just problems with your audio. Now the splitter is actually one of my favorite tools. When I edit my videos, if you look at my audio down here, some of these are stem files. And if you don't know what stem files are, this is when a song is broken up into instruments like the melody and drums, the bass. And this just gives me more control of creating the atmosphere, creating the feeling. And this is how you're able to find the perfect songs. Now, if you want more on this kind of editing, then drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, typically, I'll get these stem files from Epidemic Sound. I often also use Upbeat, but they don't have a stems option. So I'll just download this song and then I'll just drop in the song and then voila. You can remove the vocals, the bass, the drums. And then however you wish to save this, you can save the music only, just the vocal, the bass, the drums, or just create a stem file 
and then that's how I'm able to also just edit with stems. Now on that note, CapCut released an update with loudness, normalization, enhanced audio, noise reduction, and vocal isolation. So just for keeping things simple, when you highlight your audio and you have different audio clips, it's easy for all of them to have different volume levels. But if you click on normalization, then it will lessen and increase all of them to make them sound completely the same volume. The enhanced audio just kind of cleans it up. It's not really my favorite. The vocal isolation though definitely does help and you can remove a lot of the music from the background if that's something going on or maybe you have noise in the background. The vocal isolation I actually use a lot. This one's called YouTube Summary from Glasp. Now a good example for this is let's say Ed from Film Booth which if you're not following him uh, you should. Great guy for creating content. You can go to uh, a video here and just click on video AI summary. If you do that, it'll take um, you straight to ChatGPT. Granted, if you're logged in, and it'll create a full summary for this video. Now, mind you, this video is an hour long. It is a live stream that he did, and it gives you the full summary that you can take away from this video. But if you go back to the video and click on this arrow here, it'll give you the drop down and just give you the transcript of this entire video. And then from here, if you want to copy and paste everything, you can do anything that you want. You can either, uh, this is the beginning of maybe turning it into a blog. You could even say something like, only find me what he talks about creating hooks for titles or creating hooks for videos. Now this next one can save you hundreds of hours alone for video editing and it's called Gling AI. Now this will chop up and edit your video for you, which is I think is insane. Now my team and I have been using this and it's not perfect, but it is pretty good. But eight minute video was done in about a minute, uh, 45 seconds to a minute, so that's pretty good. And so now I just click on this left hand side and cut that off, cut that off, cut that off. And this is me counting down, preparing to get myself ready for recording this video. And <laughs> oh, it's funny how much I actually mess up in my own videos. And so instead of having to hear myself over and over again, it already cuts out these retakes over and over again. I can't even get one sentence out before, uh, before messing up. Now you've got the timeline down here. If you want to show the cuts, you know, what's missing, this is grayed out. But if you want to just skip them and not show them and then just show what it uh, created, here's what you got. Now let's just see what it sounds like when it's making a cut right here. It does take some time for it to load, but once it's done, then you can see the actual effects. Just make sure you give it a little bit. Good. And now you can change the lighting here. And then now let's just bump up the intensity so you can see the difference. <laughs> no? So it cut out the silences, it cut out the mess up. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it did make sense. And again, you can tell it's a little bit off, but I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> Next, we have 11 Labs. You might have seen this before, or even if you're watching YouTube shorts or long form content with AI voice that's not a real person, or maybe you might not even notice that it's AI. A lot of times they're using 11 Labs. It's one of the most popular uh, AI voice generators. And you can even clone your own voice here as well and just type in whatever you want and then hit generate. Now there's tons of voices to pick from and let's just click on social media since that's typically what we specialize in. If one is lucky, a solitary fantasy can totally transform. We have committed the golden rule to memory. Let us now commit it to... I'm not interested in age. People who tell me their age are silly. You're as old as you feel. <laughs> so these are uh, incredibly realistic and you can tweak them up as well. Now the capabilities of this next one are out of this world, Topaz Labs. They've got a couple products. They've got the photo AI and the video AI. Now this will supercharge the quality of your video by fixing its clarity. It could denoise your footage or getting rid of that grainy look that you see on it sometimes. Look at the comparison here when it recognizes the face on the right hand side. The craziest thing to me is that it creates new frames. And so this has been slowed down about 16 times and this footage was recorded on a normal camera and then now this is at an ultra slow motion probably around 120 frames per second and then if your film is shaky whether intentional or non-intentional check out this footage here this is the original and then the after there's still a little bit of bounce but i mean it's nowhere near this kind of shakiness here sometimes when you're working with the camera and it's too shaky the internal stabilization will cause some kind of warping. To be able to slow something down 16 times, something that was recorded on maybe like my phone, that means it'd have to create images to put it in to slow it down in slow motion. 
It's like none of it is even real anymore. Now here's a similar website. It's not as powerful, so it wouldn't be necessarily my go-to, but it did get the job done to, to recreate some smoother image that I had to do for this construction company. You can create your own AI avatar. You can uncrop an image. So this is the before, this is the after. And then you can make a picture go from this to this and just kind of smooth things out. If you want to change the way your image looks, you can upload it here. And then also you can enhance the video, which is I went ahead and used this one right here to increase the frame rates for this video, similar to what Topaz does, but uh, Topaz is far more powerful than this. Now the next AI, I think it's 11 that we're on is going to be leonardo.ai now these are ai generated images just based off of a prompt i'm sure you've seen a lot of these pictures all over the social medias essentially you go in here and you type in a blue monkey in the forest and you just generate and voila there we go we've got a blue monkey in the forest now a similar ai is midjourney.com you type in the prompt that you want and i was actually playing with this comparing both of them if you've seen these ai generated videos where there's someone talking behind their desk now i'm just basically recreating that now there are a ton of image generators out there so let me know put down in the comments which one is your favorite which one is the one that gives you the best results because there are different styles for each one a little bonus in case you do want to stay ahead of the curve i use future tools and futurepedia.io this is where i can find these tools there's a lot of tools out there and if you just click on future tools click on say gaming or generative art or for myself i do marketing this will be ai tools in your niche and you can sort them by either uh the, the newest or the most upvoted which is typically what i do but for example video iq is an extremely popular company and it only has 72 so just because it only has single digits or double digits does not mean that it is a bad one now that you have all the time in the world check out this video next